Hello everyone, this is... Review! Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is the unnamed drink series. That's why there was no finger swipe. Well, I, I just, I kind of made that part up. There's a fly also that, um, was trying to... Get away, thing. Um, <laughs> there was a fly that I guess is trying to... Maybe it didn't like the unnamed drink series either. But that's why I always leave the pause, because this is when we review drinks, and there is no name for the series, so we just leave a pause instead. Let's get right into things right here. Taco Bell has a new drink out. Um, well, it's, it's, it's fairly new. I'm not going to say that it is, like, you know, fresh off the presses new, but it's pretty new. Uh, as a matter of fact, this wasn't even going to be what I was going to review tonight, but the other item that I was looking for, the other chain, which shall not be mentioned, didn't, um, didn't have what I was looking for, so I decided, hey, well, Taco Bell has this drink out. Let's give it a shot. Um, it's a seasonal beverage, you know, it's one of those, like, you know, they're not going to be releasing this in January. This is like a summertime drink, even though, of course, it still is late spring, right? But we're going to ignore that technicality. And um, Taco Bell is uh, preparing for the warmer weather, right? They're uh, releasing their Pineapple Whip Freeze. So it is a freeze. It's like, you know, a slushy drink, okay? You can see it's yellow, right? Yellow like, um, you know, like lemons and like... Um, like pineapple, right? Pineapples are a vibrant yellow in color, of course. <laughs> um, but this is the pineapple whip freeze. So you can see, let's uh, zoom in right there. You can kind of see what it looks like. What is it exactly? It's supposed to be a pineapple flavored slush. And then that white, like you see at the bottom there, is uh, supposed to be a vanilla flavored cream that's there as well. So again, it's supposed to be like a slush type drink. But, um, yeah, pineapple flavored, and then they're going to mix that vanilla in there as well. And that's what it's supposed to be. So we're going to see how this ends up. It's a very simplistic drink. That's how some of these are. It's like, all right, it's really just supposed to be um, pineapple flavored. I have a little bit of that vanilla in there. Something cool that you could drink on a hot day. Maybe drink it as a dessert. Maybe accompany it with your tacos or whatever you're going to get from Taco Bell. Or have it on its own, right? It's supposed to be one of these refreshing type of little, you know, sweet beverages, if you want to call it that. Just a slushy, you know? Or freeze, I guess, as they say in the Taco Bell vernacular. You got, I guess, the Taco Bell bell that kind of, it's you can't even tell unless I'm, like, really looking at it. And otherwise, yeah, we're just going to see what it tastes like. There I am with it. Right there, you know, got to get the thumbnail, right? Price for this was $2.89. It's a self-explanatory drink. I mean, I know sometimes I sit here long and just talk and talk and talk. I don't have anything to say. I'm just going to try it out, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So we're just going to see. Does it taste like the pineapple? How um, fresh is it? How good is it? How bad is it, right? Can you taste the vanilla? How does it work, right? We're just going to do that. So you know what it is. I know what it is. Simple drink, and uh, let's just give it a shot. Pineapple Whip Freeze from Taco Bell going in. Seeing the action down there, right? Getting that straw action. Wow, that's a shot for the ages right there. Never seen anything like that before. I'm just being sarcastic, just trying to find a way to pass the time. Closer look again. You know, this will just happen if you let the drink set a tiny bit, you know, the bottom will get more liquid-like. The top will kind of be more like that, you know, ice crystal. So, that's what you've got. All right. What do we have consistency-wise and flavor-wise? Here's what I notice. Number one, it is like a sloshy drink, okay? It's not like it's, you know, like a ice cream or anything. Yeah, you know, it's got that, those ice crystals in it. But it's easy enough that you could just pass it through this straw, no problem. You know, I'm not there trying to, you know, and I can't get anything out. It's like, okay, well, 
I can drink it just fine. So that's not a problem. That's not an issue. Uh, it's not at the point where it's like so frozen that you, you're having difficulty drinking it and whatever. Secondly, what I notice is the pineapple flavor and the vanilla flavor. I'll say this. As a drink, I don't have a problem with it. It's at that point where it's like, okay, it's actually, hold on one second, sorry. Sorry about that. I blanked out because there's actually a second item that I remembered that I had that was off camera and I just didn't want to get up and get it and I'd forgotten about it. But anyway, back to the review. Um, it's a very simple item. You know, the pineapple flavor is synthetic, of course. It doesn't taste like the real deal. And the vanilla is very synthetic as well. Um, it's a very sugary drink, you know, very, very high in that sugar level. Um, you know, I would just hope that the, the pineapple, I wish that was actually a little more flavorful than what you really get in the drink. It's like, okay, it's okay, um, but it's definitely not, you know, top tier, as you might say. It's not like, oh, this is like, you know, so real and it's so flavorful, right? It's just like very, I guess syrupy would be the best word for it. It's just like a very, you know, sugary, synthetic syrup uh, that's, that's in there. Uh, same thing with the vanilla. It's just a very, very sweet drink to the point where almost, it's like almost to excess. Like, I wish there was actually a little bit of a balance to it where the sugar just wasn't so overwhelming. Um, but in the end, like, if you want to get this as a dessert, I think as like a dessert type drink, this would be the best, you know, to get it for. Um, you know, something just like some something sweet to drink after your meal. This would definitely work, I think, after like a really hot day. Let's say it's in the 90s and you're out there and, you know, it's just, oh, I need something to cool, cool myself down. I could then see, you know, getting this. But like right now, I was just having some snacks, some tacos, and this just doesn't really totally blend with it. But I can see that it does have its place, but um, I think it just depends. I was, I guess, expecting a little bit more out of it just in terms of the flavor, even though it's very simplistic. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of just how the pineapple flavor is and the vanilla too. It's just, it's like too artificial in a way. Like sometimes you get artificial flavors that are like spot on and it's just really good. But this, and it's just, it's like, it's too artificial and I've seen that problem before. Well, I drink the rest of this down, sure. It's like, it's not to the point where it's disgusting or even, I, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just, I think I would have hoped for a little bit more to it. Uh, now the price wise, again, $2.89. Again, it has its niche. It just might not work for everything. So um, out of 10, I would probably give it a 5.1 out of 10, um, right around the average mark. You know, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say it's totally below average, but it's really not above average either. So that's why it's got a 5.1 rating out of 10. All right, so that was the Pineapple Whip Freeze from Taco Bell. It has its place, um, but you know, it could be better, but I mean, it still could be worse, right? That's what we got there. Uh, secondly, you know, this isn't really a structured review. It's just something, because I wasn't planning really on doing any of these items. I went to a KFC Taco Bell and, you know, in getting the, uh, the pineapple whip freeze, I saw that KFC had some, they were, they were like peddling some chocolate cake of all things uh, to myself. I never heard of this. I don't know if it's a new item or an old item or what, but I thought, oh, why not? Let's just, let's just get the chocolate cake for the heck of it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing, but and this isn't even a review. This is just like, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to have much to say about the pineapple whip freeze, probably. So I thought, oh, let's just check this thing out for fun. I mean, why not? So they say this is a chocolate chip cake of all things. I guess, I guess you could get it from KFC. I don't know. Maybe this is like some sort of bootleg, you know, cake production business or something. I don't know. I don't know. But you can see that's what it looks like. That's take this lid off of it and let's get a closer look at it. Why not? See, this is time where my claws actually come in handy. I'm trying to get this thing. There we go. Wow, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, a chocolate cake <laughs> of all things. So I have some fine cutlery and everything. That's what it looks like. Isn't that kind of, I don't know, kind of funny. I'm just going to try it out. Why not? I've never had a chocolate cake from KFC before, so we'll find out how it is. I know that was a risky move right there, but I made it. Let's just try a little slice. So 
I don't even know what's in this because I wasn't even anticipating this at all, but I'll just try it up for the heck of it, I guess. A chocolate, they call it a chocolate chip cake right there. You can see a closer, closer look. I don't know, I guess it's got the chocolate and some vanilla in it. Let's just try it out. This isn't the most detailed review, because it's like, I don't even know how much this was. I was just checking out, and they're like, do you want a chocolate cake? It's like, okay, fine. I'll try it out. I mean, why not? But, um, yeah, it's very light. It's very light. It's very airy, as you can kind of see. It's a very light cake. It has a little bit of, you know, like vanilla frosting on it. Um, I wouldn't say it's the highest quality. It's not even like eating a brownie or anything. It reminds me of something that you would get at like the bakery in a grocery store, you know, if they're kind of making a little cake there or selling it or something. It's like of that quality. You know. The vanilla drizzle is sugary. You have the, I wouldn't say it's the most flavorful cake. It's very light. It's very like fluffy, I think is what I would describe as it, and describe it as. Um, they call it a chocolate chip cake, but I don't see too many chocolate chips in it. But I mean, for what it is, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's better than what I would have expected from KFC, to tell you the truth. So, uh, no, that's not, that's not bad at all. Um, again, it's not like the, the most, I don't know, thick, you know, cake in terms of substance and any of that. But, I don't know, it's a light little dessert. To tell you the truth, I probably like it more than the pineapple freeze, because it's, it's basic. But I think they did a good job with it for what it is. Good, you know, good portion, good serving size. And um, I mean, it's simplistic, but certainly does. It's, it's certainly a chocolate cake, but it certainly got some vanilla too. And it's light and I don't, I don't mind that. It's a good little snack, I guess. I don't know if, again, if this is like an, a new item there, if they've always had this thing or if they're just kind of selling it one off here or, or what this is, but I don't know. But eh, yeah, let's just get it and let's just tack it on for fun. So, um, I don't know, the, uh, the chocolate chip cake from KFC, uh, out of 10, I would, I would give that probably a, uh, I'd say a 6.4 out of 10. Definitely a little bit, you know, slightly above average, not perfect by any means, but it's certainly, it's okay for what it is. <laughs> so with that, I'm your host, The Report of the Week. I guess I can say now that this is running on empty food review, and it also is review, because actually we did try out a food, we tried out a drink, a two-for-one video, why not, right? Got these two things, so eh, let's have a little bit of fun. So that's what we did. So today we tried out the pineapple whip freeze from Taco Bell and the chocolate chip cake from KFC. And that's what I got for you. Thank you for watching. Please be safe, be healthy out there, and uh, keep the peace. This is, <laughs> this is running on empty and the uh, drink review. Thank you, take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.